so 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 happy. Group build two two three. Odin, Va. Today, one of the places I want to talk about is probably one of the best meals I've had and one of the sweetest families I ever met. They were just so amazing. And that was in a little bitty village uh, called Kalantak. And the village was in Karaba, which is a breakaway republic from Azerbaijan. So it used to be part of that country, but broke away. Anything you want to say? No, I'm feeling so happy. So, so, so happy. So you would think in a place that had just recently fought a civil war to be free in a place that life is still very difficult, that people wouldn't be so hospitable. But they were, they were just so amazing. We had spent the entire day hiking through the forest. We arrive at a new village and as soon as we get there, this little girl, about 15 years old, she waves at us and she says, hey, you know, you look cold. Why don't you come to our house and get warm? So we go, we follow her to her house, we start getting warm, and her grandmother's there. And her grandmother says, would you like to join us for dinner? Of course we said yes, and oh my god, that was good food. We stayed there, we enjoyed food with uh, the grandmother, the grandfather, and all the granddaughters. They told us some very sad and, and horrible war stories. They showed us an amazing level of hospitality. Uh, while we were there, we had cucumbers, cucumbers and vodka. Uh, Echo had her first shot of vodka. Okay, one, two, three. Odin, dwa, yeah. three. Three. Okay, okay. Oh. <laughs> oh. oh, we had just bread and cheeses and oh, just so many good foods. Really, it was amazing. And it wasn't just the food, it was the company. It was being there to hear their stories and to hear their aspirations, to find out that yes, they were in a war. Right? And yes, it was terrible, but you know, they're happy because they're free. They really feel that they can live their lives without being oppressed, and they feel that the sacrifice was worth it. You know, you don't hear this kind of stuff if you're just walking around a place, if you're just being a tourist. You might hear a little bit, but when you travel, someone invites you to their home, and you get to hear you know, some horrible war stories, but at the same time you get to see the hope that the future will be brighter, that there's going to be opportunity. This is what's amazing. So while we were there, we stayed, we stayed the night because they ended up inviting us and we just spent time with the family. We learned that the little girl, the 15 year old girl, her favorite class was AK-47. It's a sad thing to have as your favorite class, but in her case it was necessary. You know, she was living in a potential war zone. There was a ceasefire, but war wasn't officially over. So she and all the other students had to be ready in case there was another evasion. 